wildlife feeders, getting them ready for spring. And what it is that we just use them for to supplement the diet of some of the wildlife in the area between the winter and spring, whenever the new foliage starts coming in. And one of the local guys has set up a hog trap close to our deer feeder, which is all right. It helps helps get rid of the hogs in the area. I saw some tracks coming in and I didn't know what was going on. You use regular like chain link fence. Two by six for the top. Then holes drilled in the two by six to wire the chain link fence to it. T post. Another two by six on the bottom. And then on, on right above the two by six piece of half inch round bar. Two by four. It's just a sliding door. I think they've got it blocked open to get the hogs used to going in there. Because it's got a board on there that if it goes down, it will. Looks like it'll stop the door. So sometimes people will do that to get the hogs used to going inside of there. And it's got a weight back there in the back with corn spread around it the hogs will get in there and start rooting around that knock it loose and then the door will fall what it is is these hog traps provide a source of food and it's a resource like let's say that some type of event happens and there are no grocery stores or there is no source of fresh meat if you know people that have these hog traps set up or that hunt hogs most states you need to well you need to check with the hunting regulations in your state but most states have a open season on hogs all year round so it's like a ready-made food supply that some that uh, people have tapped into Corey, this one's still got a uh, hog sign. Got a big old hole. They've been down there rooting around. Anything else? Let's see what let's see what kind of wildlife we have in the area. We've got some deer tracks. Four deer tracks. Some coyote or a bobcat track. It's kind of blurred out so I can't see the claw marks. Plenty of deer tracks though. All kind of deer tracks. I wish I'd seen this many deer during deer season. Alright, coyote. There we go. Corey and I are out here fertilizing some pear trees. I did a video about these a while back. This one here was leaning over. So we staked it out and kind of pulled it over, pruned it back a little bit, and hopefully it'll start growing more straight up pretty soon. And what Corey has there is some triple 13. We're just kind of spreading it out. That bottle had some water in it. I poured the water out and then we poured trip, put some triple 13 in there. Now this pear tree here is doing pretty good. It's, uh, I don't know, 10, 12 feet tall. And it's coming on up. I pruned it a little bit. I did a little bit of pruning on it. I just don't want to prune it too much. I'll probably next year, I may cut this limb right here off. That's sticking so far out. Maybe that one right there that's bent. I may cut it off next year. But it's kind of behind on it. It's pruning a little bit. But it's producing pears, hopefully with a little bit of fertilizer we spread around. We'll be able to get some pears off of it this year, too. All right, Corey, let's move over to the peach trees. And these are some peach trees that I planted last year. We've got four of them out here right now. This one here was leaning over quite a bit, so I staked it out with some three-quarter inch round bar. 
over here is a plum tree and it's already starting to sprout these are new trees well this one here is I don't know three or four years old but it's just not growing very tall I don't know what the problem is we'll have to look into it see what the problem is and why it's not growing this one here is growing better than the plum tree it's a peach tree it's probably about, we planted the same time as a plum tree and this one here produces peaches every year so far but it just doesn't it's just not growing very big and I try to keep the peaches cut off so it could put more energy to growing tall or growing stronger limbs and the growing fruit but even by pruning some of the fruit back it's still not growing very tall and this one here we planted last year fine it's got got on it oh well this one here let's see this is a uh, Alberta peach that's an Alberta peach as well bought at Walmart so we just got finished spreading some triple 13 around them and they seem to get plenty of sun there's a buzzard up there alright guys I'll talk to you later.